thirsty. So who is he filled with? Who is he spiritually filled with? God the Father. And God the Father gives him the strength. Uh, so, so when Jesus says, I thirst, he was saying that he felt isolated and alone. Because at the very moment, God had turned his back on him. So at that very moment, God turned his back on him. Not because he didn't uh, love him, but because he could not look upon the sin of the world that Jesus had took upon himself. Think about your own kids. You know, like just getting whipped, just nailed to the cross, just beat up, and you can't do anything. You're, you're being held back, and you're watching this. Think about what you would do, right? You can't. You might turn your head around. Think about what the Father has done when Jesus was doing this. Like, I can't help He turns around. And that spiritual separation from God can leave a person feeling dry and empty. Most of all, thirsty. So when God turned away because he couldn't handle it, Christ was like, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty spiritually. God, you turned away from me. So it's when your spiritual separation from God leaves a person. That's when you feel dry and empty. So in conclusion, dear friends, sometimes we, we are thirsty, um, but we don't realize it. We feel so empty inside, and our souls cry out to be filled. We long for love, but in all the wrong, we long, we long for love, but we look in all the wrong places. We turn to our friends, but when they disappoint us, we draw back in despair. We try to fix ourselves on the outside, but on the inside, there's a tornado, a tornado going on. I think that's in Malayalam, it's truly bad. So another term I said in Malayalam. Uh, tornado. So your heart, your, your, your soul is fully uh, attacked by Satan. Because Satan loves to do that. Satan loves to make you just drain and fully dehydrate your spiritualness to the Lord. He wants you into his, his, what is it, his, um, his group. Because he wants to draw you into hell. Because he knows that he's the judge. And that when the day of judgment comes, he's going to go down. So he wants to take as much, as many as, as the people that he get. So, but Christ, Jesus came for that very reason, so that Satan won't have, Satan won't have a control of us. That Jesus came, so that those who accept him, those who really recommit their life to that. So because I was born a Christian, but what does it mean to live a Christ-like life? You have to be born again. You have to live a Christ-like life. Um, you have to be holy. You have to be set apart from the world. So, so, you know, Jesus has made us right with God, and so we, in return, need to live a holy life in the Lord. So when you look at your life right now, where are you? Where are you personally? Um, as uh, it, if you go to God when, when you need Him, because you shouldn't do that, because you should praise Him with all your heart, and never ask God, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this, God. You need to praise it too. Thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you for uh, breaking me. Thank you for uh, you know, letting me get sick or something. You know, not really that sick, but like, maybe what's the reason? Why, why did you let me get sick? Oh, okay, maybe this is why. So you let you, so God's word and his spirit will let you recognize the, you know, the things that is happening to you. you will, the spirit will help you get back on track. And the spirit will quench your thirst. So, you know, when we look at the cross now, when we go through all these verses, there's a different meaning now. Like, it's a, you know, when I was going through this at home, you know, it's, a, it's just a total change for me what he meant by I thirst. So it's not physically, I finally get what he meant. You know, it's, you know, the connection that we need to have with Christ, because if we don't have that connection with Christ, we are going to be dry up. And Satan's going to just ruin your life. So, you know, I know very well how foolish the message of the cross sounds to those who are on the road to destruction. But we who are being saved recognize this as the very power of God 
1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. So, uh, you know, I'm going to sing the same song that we sang. Uh, let's just sing it all together. Thank you. 